This is such a heartbreaking story in which this father imprisoned his daughter and had about seven children by her, but one child died in its infant state. She has been, the daughter Elizabeth has been given a new name and there are very strict laws and regulation, regulations to prevent her identity from being revealed. She lives with her six surviving children um, in the Austrian countryside, which also cannot be identified and only referred to by the country's media as Village X. He imprisoned her in the family's basement since she was 18 years old. And he is eligible for parole if he is moved to another facility. The mother claims that she wasn't aware of the abuse. Why? This one, people just, you got to have discernment in these men that you get involved with. He is now 88 years old. He was jailed for life in 2009, and he admitted keeping his daughter, Elizabeth, locked in the cellar as his sex slave for 24 years. And his attorney is hoping that he would be put in a nursing home. His crimes were discovered in 2008, shortly after he relented to take Elizabeth's eldest daughter to the hospital, setting in motion a chain of events which saw police arrest him seven days later. I don't think he should be eligible for a parole. And I also don't believe uh, that he should be allowed to go to the nursing home. He should stay in prison until the day he dies. And I am praying for every man, woman, boy and girl who has been abused, who has been neglected, who's had miscarriages, who's been kidnapped and been imprisoned, hurt by relatives, victims of incest. And there were victims of incest right under my nose. Neighbors down the street, other students who went to my school, children that I played with and I didn't know until years later. And we have to do our best to protect children, men, women, boys, and girls from these nightmares because this is evil and it's not of God. So, Father, in the precious name of Jesus, God, Lord, we pray and we beseech you, Father, for your protection, your mercy, God, and your judgment, Father. Lord, we ask you to look on every victim of incest, rape, kidnapping, molestation, any type of verbal, physical, mental abu abuse. God, we ask you, God, Lord, to wipe the tears away, God. Lord, give them the strength to go through and to give them the strength to overcome the pain, the trauma, and the hurt. Put people around them that will listen to them and that will help them and also help them to escape the situation, Father. God, we bind the hands of the evil one, the devil, and everyone that operates under this evil spirit of domestic violence, abuse, incest, rape, and abusing their power to subject others to heinous acts. Father, we ask God, Lord, that you save them, that you deliver them, God, and make them stop. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we ask you to touch the children of Elizabeth. Oh, God, protect them from this trauma, God. Touch their heart, mind, body, and soul, God, that they may not crack under the knowledge that their mother is also their sister and that their father is also their grandfather and the heinous acts that they were submitted to. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to put your loving arms around this family, God. Lord, and help her not to be bitter, 
Help them not to be angry. And God, we ask you, God, to give them grace and mercy. God, I don't know what they need, but God, you know what they need, God. And we ask you to send your healing virtue in their mind, their spirit, their soul, and their spirit. And Lord, that you would wipe every tear away, God, and make these heinous acts a faint memory in their heart. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And God, there's so many children who've been kidnapped. And Father, we ask you, God, to put people around them that will help them, make police officers listen to them and government officials listen to them. And God, we ask you to give them spiritual discernment, God. Give them a miracle, God, that they may find their loved ones who've been kidnapped and murdered and raped and that disappeared for years and years and may be the victim of sex and human trafficking. God, we ask you to break this evil in our country and in this world, God, and have mercy upon us, God. And Lord, we ask you to bring these people back home, God, and give their families the strength to endure because there's no other pain than losing a child, such great pain of losing a child or a loved one or having someone kidnapped and not knowing where they were or where they are and whether they're dead or alive. And God, we ask you, God, to have mercy, God. In the matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I will let your name on 